do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends so earlier we have did a topic based on chemical reaction and as you know that in chemical reaction various kind of elements or atoms are been involved so what are these terms let us see in a very deep detail and it would be very much easy and interesting for you to know what is chemistry so friends there are few terms that are been involved in a uh, chemical reactions the first one is that i am going to talk it about is element so what does element means element means a substance which cannot be decomposed by a simple chemical process into two or more different substances is known as element let me talk about carbon so carbon is a particular element in which even though if you break it it will divide into two suppose a, a substance it will divide into two carbons but you cannot the both the carbons will not be different with each other so therefore we cannot uh, differentiate it by uh, normal chemical processes so therefore it says that we cannot decompose it by simple chemical process into two or more different substances so therefore a particular carbon that is graphite is said to be an element talking about copper suppose if you have a rod of copper or if you have a block of copper and if you break it even though if you break it the substance that will be produced it will be only copper and copper so therefore the two new kind of products or new kind of substance are not being produced so therefore in this case we could say that the copper is an element so therefore the element substance uh, element uh, the word is very much easy to understand that any substances that cannot be decomposed into two or more substance new substance will not be said to be an element so therefore i would write the example it as copper iron and that is carbon carbon oxygen so this kind of uh, substances are known as elements and in periodic table as we could see there are uh, 118 elements and more elements that are been uh, uh, discovered so in this things the elements are been mentioned in the periodic table so therefore those elements cannot be further uh, cannot be divided into further parts so now the element has been clearly uh, mentioned uh, to you and now let me talk about what do you mean by, what do we mean by compounds so compounds is what the substance with definite composition that can be decomposed into two or more different substance by chemical process is known as a compound so let me talk about a very simple example that is water water that is h2 suppose this h2 can be further being decomposed and if water will be decomposed then two different kind of substances will be produced and that is hydrogen and oxygen so in this case basically the hydrogen and oxygen is been produced so this uh, so to so as to make it a balanced thing what i am going to do is i'll multiply this by 2 so that i would get in this way that is two times of h2 plus o2 so in this case we could see that this material or this substance get decomposed and we are getting two or more that is we have getting two more different substances so therefore this is h2 while this is hydrogen and oxygen that has been produced so therefore this substance will be said to be a compound it is very much easy to understand let me talk about another example that is ammonia in ammonia suppose if we decompose it so what will we get we'll get nitrogen as well as we'll get hydrogen atoms or hydrogen molecules so similarly it is very much easy to understand what a compound means so this are the two things that is element and compound these are the main factors that we could understand so as to study what is chemistry and talking about the last part that is a molecule so molecule means what the smallest unit of a compound having all the properties of the compound and is made up of two or more atoms of different elements present in definite composition and held together by chemical bonds it's very simple to understand suppose since atom is the smallest particle of an element similarly a molecule will be a smallest unit of a compound suppose if you have 
a glass of water with you so therefore in that is a matter or that is a substance in which you could see that if water is in present and if you decompose it you will get hydrogen and oxygen gas that will be evolved so suppose if that uh, water will be uh, converted into uh, a smallest unit or suppose if you consider a smallest unit of that water again it will be H2O itself but the difference will be it will be a very smallest part of the whole uh, water that you have taken so even though if you do chemical reaction or even though if you decompose that uh, small part of that uh, water uh, which is a which is in compound form and now you have been converted into a uh, molecule form then also you will get H2 as well as oxygen that is hydrogen and oxygen so the property of the whole compound of water will be the same as the property of the molecule of the water in the both will be same so therefore there should be all the property of the compound should be regarding or should be equal to that of the molecule so this is are the definitions that we have learned that is for elements for compounds and for molecules so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got an idea and you have got a very deep detail what is elements and compounds so thank you for watching this video share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGIDA channel thank you so much